Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. Alrighty, and good Saturday evening, everybody. Hope you're enjoying your Saturday and your weekend as it continues on, and we'll go see the sunshine continue. The winds, however, will uh, pick up as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Uh, very blustery at times. Maybe a small craft advisory out for the waters tomorrow. Rain chances, however, will remain low. On Monday and Tuesday, you may see some mid-level moisture work back in, so we can't rule that chance of some fast-moving showers, but overall coverage will be low. In the tropics, an area to watch for here is next to the Yucatan Peninsula, Upper Central America, and that system is expected to move over into the Bay of Campeche, over in the western Gulf of Mexico, and later down the road, uh, most of, some of our models do have something there, although it's not all that organized, really, and it's far to our west. The Sun Coast, I really don't see anything to worry about in the tropics, uh, but definitely near Texas and Louisiana, big time rainmaker possibly uh, down the road. For us, it's more of these winds that are going to be going on the next few days. If you're going out in the waters tomorrow, northeast winds 15 to 20 knots, seas running 2 to 4 feet with choppy conditions, 85 degrees. And for the beaches, it will be breezy as well. East northeast wind 10 to 20, surf running 2 to 4 feet, and UV index running moderate, sunset 659 in the evening. Dew points, however, will remain in the comfortable range here the next few days, especially Monday and Tuesday near the 50s, which is categorized as dry on our scale with the winds. It's going to feel really nice with low temperatures in the 60s. So it might be a nice start uh, both Monday and Tuesday. And then by Wednesday, the humidity begins to return. Looking here at mean sea level pressure for the day on Sunday. And basically, I'm seeing that on our scale, that low pressure is towards the blues and pinks and higher pressure is towards the red. So we're looking at lower pressure to our south and higher pressure to our north where there's some very cold air uh, just to our north. So looking at this, as the colors change, that's called a pressure gradient. And you can see how quick they change. So see how uh, small of an area they change here over the state of Florida, it's a very tight pressure gradient, and that results in some very windy conditions coming around that high pressure, and it'll be very windy across our state uh, going Sunday, and eventually also all the way into Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. Temperatures for tonight across the southeast. Speaking of cold, look at that, 39 in Nashville, 39 in Atlanta, 39 in Charlotte, 41 in Birmingham, 68 uh, down here in, six, uh, in Sarasota, but very chilly and cold up there across uh, Georgia, South Carolina, even in the Virginia area where they're having 20s. Closer to home, again, look at it, 68 in Sarasota, 64 in Mecca City, 64 in Wachula, 67 in Port Charlotte. So generally the 60s across the board, near 70 degrees near the coast, and for tomorrow, we'll rebound right into the 80s yet again. Here's a look at it. The breezy will pick up. Breezy conditions will come back as we go later on in the morning, into the afternoon, and turning windy overnight Sunday into Monday with temperatures in the 60s. Update 70 forecast. Yet again, the rain chances will remain low, around 10% to go throughout the next few days. Temperature, high temperatures in the mid 80s and low temperatures in the upper 60s. Not too bad. All right, another web weather updates coming up Sunday morning.